Animal Top 10, Animal Tricksters. The author is Joanne Matterson. Matterson. Introduction. Sometimes it's fun to play a trick on someone. People play tricks to be funny. Other times tricks can be more serious. Think about a spy who wears a disguise. Spies have to pretend to be people they aren't. If their disguise doesn't work, they could be arrested or even killed. Animals play tricks too, but they aren't trying to be funny. Animals play tricks to stay alive. Just like a spider who wears a disguise, some animals know that they can fool, fool other animals. They can survive any day. Animal tricks can be snaky and very strange, but they help animals find food or protect them from enemies. We put together a list of the top 10 animal tricksters. See why these creatures are the snakiest creatures on planet Earth. Number 10, the leaf fish. What could be more harmless than a leaf? A leaf can't attack anything or eat anything, right? Well, a leaf may be harmless, but the leaf fish definitely is not. This fish disguises itself as a leaf to fool its prey. Leaf fish live in rivers and lakes in South America. Its flat brown green body makes it look just like a leaf drifting along underwater. Special fins on the fish body help keep it, keep it placed in the water. Everything looks safe and peaceful until a shrimp or a small fish swims by. Suddenly, the leaf fish log jaws shoot out and grab its prey. In seconds, the leaf fish has swallowed the other animal in one big bite. Number nine, the orchid manis. The orchid pretty flower attracts bees and other insects. The insects notice the color, but what do, are they really after is food. Orchids are also full of sweet liquid called nectar that butterflies and other insects like to eat. For some insects flying in for a taste of an orchid will turn out to be their last meal. That's because the or orchid manis is not a flower at all. It is an insect that loves to eat other insects. While most manis are green and brown, the orchid manis is white, pink, and purple, just like the flower it's named after. When an insect gets too close, the manis snaps it up with its long front legs and quickly eats it. Number eight, the opossum. The opossum might just be one of the best known animal tricksters. This unusual animal has a sim simple way to fool a person or animal that comes too close. The opossum plays dead. Playing dead happens without the opossum even knowing, thinking about it. When a coyote, fox, or other predators threaten this creature, the possum goes into shock. It falls over and lies stiffly on the ground. It really looks dead. Usually the predator loses interest and walks away. In time, the possum wakes up and goes about its business. Possums are interesting in other ways. They are the only marsupial that lives in North America, a possum gives birth up to 14 babies at a time. They are not fully developed and they are so small 
that all 14 could fit into a teaspoon. The babies crawl into a pouch on their mother's stomach. They stay there for about two months until they are big enough to survive outside. After they leave the pouch, the mother possum often carries her babies on her back. A possum tail is pretty, pretty tricky. It is long, thick, and hairless. The tail is also very strong and possums can hang by it tail from a tree branch. Number seven, the margay. <clears throat> the margay lives <clears throat> in the rainforest of Central and South America. The small tamarind monkeys live there too. Margays love to eat tamarinds and just special, and these special cats have come up with a very tricky way to catch their prey. When it is hungry, a margay will make a noise that sounds just like the cry of a baby tamarind monkey. When the adult tamarinds hear this sound, they get upset and rush to see what is wrong with their baby. That's when the margay pounces its, and catches the tamarind. The cat has tricked its prey into coming right into its deadly jaws. Margays are great acrobats. These cats live high in the trees. Their back legs are strong and flexible. A margay can hang from a tree by one foot. It can also chase a square squirrel down a tree trunk without falling. Its long tail helps keep its balance. These cats have a beautiful fur, but that is what put them in danger. Many margays are killed by people who sell their fur. Margays also do not have a lot of kittens at a time and they only get and they only have kittens every two years. These facts have made the margay an endangered species and even playing tricks may not be able to save it. The Alcon Blue Butterfly. Some animal tricks other animals by sight. The Alcon Blue Butterfly uses the senses of smell and hearing to play an amazing trick on other insects. Like other butterflies, the Alcon Blue starts life as a caterpillar. That caterpillar looks like a lot, like a lot of larva from an ant. It smells like an ant too. This caterpillar lays on the ground and waits for the ants to come along. Soon a red ant finds a caterpillar. Since the caterpillar smells just like an ant larva, the ant carries the caterpillar into its nest. Deep in the nest, other workers also fall for the trick. They feed the caterpillar just like they feed their own ant babies. Then they sneak butterflies. Then the sneaky butterfly plays its second trick. It begins to sing. The song, the song sounds just like one of the queen ant, queen ant sings. Once again, the other ants are completely fooled. They treat the caterpillar like a queen, bringing the best food. If there is not enough food, the ant will even feed their own larva to, to get caterpillar. The ants continue to care for the caterpillar even after it develops a hard shell called a pupa and begins to become a butterfly. But when the Alcon blue butterfly comes out of its pupa, the game is over. The ants realize that they have been tricked and they are not happy. It's time for the butterfly to 
make a speedy exit. The butterfly flies out of the ant's nest as fast as it can. The cuckoo finch, number five. Being a parent is hard work. This is especially true for birds. Bird mothers spend days or weeks sitting on their eggs until they're hatched. Then they have to bring food to the baby birds all day long until the chicks have big enough to fly away and take care of themselves. One bird in Africa has found its way to have lots of chicks without taking care of them. That sneaky mother bird is the cuckoo finch. This bird is so sneaky, it doesn't even have to build its own nest. Instead, the cuckoo finch waits until another bird leaves its nest. Then they lay eggs and they lay its eggs in the nest. It can get in the way with, the, with this trick because of the cuckoo finch eggs look just like the other eggs of the, of the bird. The cuckoo finch lays one or two eggs in the nest. When a mother bird comes back, she can't tell if the birds are hers or another bird's. The mother bird doesn't want to kill her own chicks by tossing the egg out of the nest. So she sits on it on all the eggs and hatches the cuckoo finch along with her own. I got when the cuckoo finch are born, they can continue the trick. Cuckoo finch are usually bigger than the other birds in the nest. They demand more food. The mother bird, something, feeding the cuckoo finch than her own chicks. This trick may be se seem cruel and it is certainly bad news for the other chicks in the nest. However, laying eggs on the other birds nest is a smart idea for the cuckoo finch. She is able to lay many eggs and not have to take care of them. More eggs mean more chicks and more chicks increase the chances that they will, that they species will survive. The mimic octopus. A mimic is someone who copies someone it's easy to see how the mimic octopus got its name. This creature loves to copy other animals. The mimic octopus is brown and white. These creatures also have spots and stripes that feature helps them hide on the ocean floor. In addition, in addition, like other octopuses, the mimic can change colors to match the world around it. This provides great camouflage and helps the octopus blend in. <laughs> but the mimic octopus can do a lot more than just change colors. It can also copy other animals' shapes and movements. Why does the octopus copy other animals? Scientists think that the mimic Octopus is so smart, it can figure out what animals predators don't like to eat. Then it copies those animals so that the predator leaves the mimic alone as well. This clever trick helps keep the mimic octopus safe. A mimic might also pretend to be different animal to trick its prey. For example, if the mimic octopus looks like a, like a crab, other crabs won't be afraid to come near it. But when they do, dinner is served. Mimic octopuses live in the water around Southeast Asia. They eat worms, crabbers, crabs, and other small fish. Sometimes they even eat other octopuses. Number three, the fork-tailed drongo. Sometimes an animal can see it is helping other creatures, but the animal isn't trying to be helpful at all. Instead, it is playing a sneaky trick. Pretending to be helpful is exactly how the bird called 
the fork-tailed drongo steals food from other animals. Fork-tailed drongos live in Africa. They like to hang up around the mirret colonies. Mirrets find food and dig up insects and scorpions. Drongos like to eat those things too, but first they need to get rid of the mirret. To do this, the drongo will make a cry that tells the mirret danger is, is near. The mirret hears the cry and quickly runs for cover. Then the drongo swoops down and steals the mirret's food. After a while, through the mirrors stop falling for the drongo's trick. Then the drongo tries a different approach. The bird makes the warning cry of a different animal. Once again, the mirror is fooled and runs away. And once, and once again, the drongo steals its dinner. Drongos don't just use their cry to fool mirrors. This clever bird also steals food from other birds and small mammals. Number two, the assassin bug. The assassin is someone who kills an important person in a surprise attack. The assassin bug also kills by surprise. This bug is one of the greatest tricksters in the insect world. An assassin bug hunts spiders. Most insects are in big trouble if they are caught in a spider's web. The spider will quickly catch the bug, wrap it up in sticky strands of silk, and save it for dinner. But if an assassin bug comes near, things can take an unexpected turn. Here's how the assassin bug plays its trick. The bug tries, the bug finds a spider web and makes a little tap on the strands of the web. The spider thinks a small insect, just, just as a fly, is caught in the web. The spider crawls out to the edge to grab the web, ready and grabs its prey. Surprise! The insect waiting in the web is not, is not trapped at all. Instead, it grabs a spider and eats it up. The assassin bug has struck again. Assassin bugs live in Australia. These clever insects have long legs and a thin body, but they also have very sharp mouth parts. An assassin bug kills its prey by jamming its sharp mouth parts into the insect's body and sucking out the prey's insides. To do this, the bug has to get close to its prey. By getting close to a spider can be very dangerous. That's why the insect has to play a deadly trick. The assassin bug has figured out how to tap a spider's web in a way that fools the spider. The tap feels just like the struggles of a small insect that is trapped in the web. The spider has no idea that the assassin bug has set a trap of its own, a trap that will end, the, end in dinner for the bug, not the spider. Number one, the puppeteer spider. And now we present the number one animal trickster, the puppeteer spider. One day in 2012, a scientist named Phil Torres was leading a group through the forest in Peru when he saw a funny looking spider in a web. It wasn't until the scientist got closer that he realized the spider wasn't real at all. Instead, it was fake. Taurus looked closer and saw a small spider in the web. The small spider was shaking the web to make its decoy move. Taurus had never seen anything like that. 
Torres told other scientists about what he had seen. Later, he went back to the forest and found more spiders. They were part of the group of spiders called Colossopole. Other scientists studied the spiders. They saw that the fake spiders were made of dead insects, pieces of leaves, dried up frog eggs, and other garbage. The real spider made the fake spider move just like a person moves a puppet. Why does a spider do this? Scientists think that behavior might scare away predators. For example, the damselfly is a predator that eats small spiders, but stays away from big spiders. Maybe the puppeteer spider makes a big fake spider to keep damselflies away. Scientists agree that the puppet, puppeteer spiders aren't smart enough to figure out that building a decoy spider will trick predators into staying away. They think that the spider can do that has a better chance of surviving than spiders that do not. That means that spiders with disability will be the ones that live and reproduce. Sometimes being tricky really does pay off. And then the animal tricksters runners up is the green heron, the angelfish, wobblegon, and Fictoris flat firefly.